When it comes to storage solutions, nothing beats SSDs. Hard disk drives are slowly losing ground in the consumer space as SSDs are becoming cheaper and more accessible. Apart from the obvious performance bump that you get by using SSDs, there are also some other good points as well. SSDs are more durable, come in a smaller form factor and are lighter in weight. All of these properties combined make SSDs the obvious choice when it comes to your storage solution. Well, that's if your wallet allows it. But when looking at SSDs, you might have noticed that SSDs actually come with a few different connectors. So what's that all about? Well, that's what we're here today because we're gonna go over the three most common connectors that you're likely to encounter when buying an SSD for your system. This video will go over the technology, the performance, and things that you should keep in mind. So. Let's just jump in. The first connector that we'll be looking at is M.2 NVMe. NVMe stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. It was first introduced in 2011 as an alternative to SATA. This was done in order to address the various bottlenecks of the SATA interface and communication protocols. The M.2 specification identifies 12 key IDs on the module card and socket interface, but M.2 SSDs typically use three common keys. B, M, and B and M. When it comes to superior storage technology, NVMe is in a league of its own. There's just no other way to look around it because NVMe beats the other two connectors that we're gonna talk about in performance hands down. Even at a glance, the differences between NVMe and SATA in performance are just impressive. The communication drivers and interface between the NVMe standard and SATA standard are completely different. SATA uses AHCI drivers, which are designed for hard disk drives. Yep, those bulky storage devices with the spinning disks. Meanwhile, the NVMe drivers is specifically designed for SSDs with flash technology. In addition, NVMe is able to take advantage of PCE technology to communicate between the storage interface and the system CPU for greater leverage. Our Sabin Rocket 4 Plus, which is the fastest drive that we have made so far, can deliver up to 7,000 megabytes per second speeds thanks to M.2 NVMe and PCIe technology. NVMe technology utilizes the PCIe bus instead of the SATA bus to unlock enormous bandwidth potential for storage devices. PCIe 4.0 offers a theoretical speed of up to 7,880 megabytes per second as compared to the approximate 500 megabytes per second specification limit of most SATA connectors. This alone demonstrates the differences in bandwidth capacity between the two technologies. NVMe doesn't have the older technology holding it back. M.2 NVMe SSDs use the M key standard, which means that it looks like this and enables access to four lanes of PCIe. NVMe SSDs are normally found in your laptop, for example, in more modern laptops, or alternatively in motherboards to make use of the PCIe technology. Now, now, SATA itself isn't slow by any metric. In fact, an SSD running on a SATA connector is pretty fast. It's just not as fast as NVMe. Now let's take a look at M.2 SATA SSDs and what it has to offer. M.2 SATA SSDs are known for their smaller form factor as compared to regular two and a half inch SATA drives. This has the same benefit of being able to be mounted in the motherboard of your computer directly, meaning that you're not having to deal with any connector wires. But on the other hand, it does come at a cost of limitations. Most motherboards only have around two or three M.2 SSD slots, and most of them use PC3 or 4 technology, meaning that you are going to be limited by the SATA speeds of your SATA uh, SSD. The cost of these drives aren't even that much cheaper than M.2 NVMe drives at the same memory capacity. However, you can get M.2 SATA drives in much smaller memory capacities. So if you don't really need anything more than like 256 gigabytes, then this might not be a huge disadvantage as long as you don't mind running, obviously, the much slower speeds. Here's the thing though, you can't run several of these M.2 SATA drives like you can with a standard two and a half inch SATA SSD, as a lot of motherboards come with like four or more SATA drive connectors. Whereas with the M.2, you 
don't get more than like two or three. My recommendation when using a motherboard with M.2 slots, I would say use fast NVMe storage. Like for example, our Saturn Rocket Q that is available up to eight terabytes and you're taking advantage of the PC technology. And for example, if your motherboard supports PC 4.0, then you can go even further and go for something like our Saturn Rocket 4 or our Saturn Rocket 4 Plus, which has just, insane speeds. Then if you need more storage for archiving, for example, or just for general data, then you can fill up your SATA ports on your uh, motherboard with two and a half inch SSD drives. One thing that I haven't mentioned yet is the fact that M.2 SATA uses B plus M keys compared to the M key found in NVMe SSDs. This is another way to tell a difference between SATA drives and NVMe drives because the B and M key only has access to two PC lanes, whereas M.2 NVMe uh, uses the M key slot, which means that you have a full advantage of four lanes. Now let's look at the little brother of the SATA connectors, Mini SATA, or more commonly known M SATA connectors. As the name suggests, the M SATA connector is just a smaller version of the SATA connectors that we see. This came out in 2009 as it was a much smaller alternative to SATA connectors. So it was perfect for things like notebooks, laptops, and other devices that didn't have much space for a regular two and a half inch SATA SSD. This is because back in those days, SSDs were still in that two and a half inch form factor, which was just way too big for notebooks and laptops. Laptops, the M SATA filled the vacancy with its smaller form factor and similar performance to those two and a half inch SSDs. The M SATA SSD supported read speeds of around 550 megabytes per second, and the write speeds were around 300 megabytes per second. At the time, this form factor and performance was great for notebooks and laptops as they just took up less space, less power, and didn't sacrifice on speeds that were available at the time but M SATA SSDs has since been replaced by M.2 NVMe SSDs, for example. The M.2 SSD standard is just a better overall standard in terms of design and performance. The M.2 NVMe standard just takes advantage of the technology that we have at the moment, and it's future-proof as well, as it can take advantage of future PC uh, generations. As you can tell, M.2 NVMe SSDs just have many advantages over the two other common types. While the other two are still being used in some applications, for most consumers, M.2 NVMe SSDs are just going to perform better. And with PC technology getting better and faster, this standard is able to grow with the demand that is going to be needed for professionals and gamers right now and in the future. If you want to pick up an M.2 NVMe SSD, then don't forget to check out the sabrin.com website to see which SSD best suits your needs, as well as all the other accessories that you might need for your computer needs. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then please hit that like button and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with more informational content like this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.